favor, you'll be pressing the green button. If you're opposed, you're pressing the red button. First came the cut as the House voted down the bill itself. House will be attentive to the vote. Then the salt in the wound, as minutes later the House voted to effectively bury right to work for two years. A major win for labor leaders, who were also careful not to spike the football. We're feeling very good about what happened today, and I think this is a victory for all in the middle class in this state today, what just happened. But for Right to Work supporters, the loss was a virtual gut punch. I could not be more disappointed. Um, I think we took an important tool out of the toolbox for the governor to use. We just stopped any possibility for a Right to Work company that wants to come in here. In the end, more than two dozen Republican House members joined with the Democratic minority to tilt the scales. And while the Speaker of the House says he's disappointed, he's not surprised. I did not really expect this to pass. When I saw the results of the election in November, I knew we were short uh, Republicans to make this a reality in New Hampshire. Whether this divides the Republican majority in Concord moving forward remains to be seen. But what is clear, organized labor remains strong in New Hampshire. I consider that a victory for working families in New Hampshire. By your estimation, does this end the right to work debate in New Hampshire, do you think? We've been doing it for 40 years. And it, it, it's up to the powers that be in the next election cycle to see if they bring it up again. Well, following today's vote, Governor Sununu, who strongly supported right to work, issued a statement saying, quote, while it is clear that some House members did not understand the opportunity to unleash the untapped potential of our economy, I know that we can continue to work collaboratively on initiatives that will drive new business into the state.